the last uh, now coming up to 10 years, decade, has been very interesting because the treatment of this disease is completely revolutionized and obviously that was initially with the introduction of amatinib which still remains the frontline standard of care in all patients with chronic phase and uh, uh, chronic myelogenous leukemia. If the patient is truly failing a matinet, then uh, the second generation virus and kinase inhibitors, as well as uh, consideration of transplantation, become uh, more important. Um, and uh, as you know, there are now two approved second generation um, tyrosine and kinase inhibitors in the US. Uh, the satinib and the nalotinib, and there are also newer ones that are being evaluated, such as busotinib. Um, and um, how to choose between one or the other? Um, there's uh, the data of phase two studies on both of the agents have been very um, impressive. They have both provided very high response rates, um, uh, both hematological and cytogenetic responses, and. There is no randomized trial to say if one is superior to the other. Uh, in vitro, uh, the satinib is 300 and approximately 325 times more potent than imatinib, mm -hmm. and the lotinib is 30 times more potent uh, than imatinib. Well, obviously, there are very effective drugs. That's why they were approved in the U.S. You know, remember, the approval of both of these drugs were in imatinib-resistant or imatinib-intolerant patients. Mm -hmm. So that means that they already failed a very good drug, and a significant proportion responded to these second-generation drugs.